Welcome to this week's session of Monday is Fun Day here at Wood Library. I'm Mrs. Ferris, the children's librarian, and you otter have a really good time today because our theme is otters. We're going to start off with a book and then we'll make a craft. So let's get started. Our book is called Do Unto Otters, a book about manners, and it's written by Lori Keller and illustrated by her too. And I love the otters in here. I think they're so silly looking. The book is published by Square Fish, which is a division of Henry Holden Company. Doo -de doo. 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 Donk. Well, hello, Mr. Rabbit. We're your new neighbors, the otters. Otters? Otters? My new neighbors are otters. I don't know anything about otters. What if we don't get along? Mr. Rabbit, I know an old saying do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you. What does that mean? It means simply treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you. Hmm. Treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me? Hmm. How would I like otters to treat me? How would I like otters to treat me. Well, I'd like the otters to be friendly. A cheerful hello, a nice smile, and good eye contact are all part of being friendly. Friendliness is very important to me, especially after my last neighbor, Mrs. Grrr. I'd like otters to be polite. They should know when to say please. Like, yoo-hoo, Mr. Rabbit, would you please return my ball there? Pretty please with carrots on top? Would you like me to sting you, asked to be? Oh, yes, please. I can say please in five languages. Por favor, which is Spanish. S'il vous plaît, which is French. Bitte, which is German. Kudasai, which is Japanese. And easy play, that's pig Latin. Say the magic word and I'll turn these clams into a million dollars. Now the magic word, in case you didn't remember or didn't know, rhymes with this. What is that? Cheese. So what's the magic word? Please. And they should know when to say thank you. For instance, would you like me to sting you now? No. Thank you. Then please be, take my business card and call me when you're ready, said the bee. And over here, I have to turn the book in order to read this because this otter's writing a letter. Dear Mr. Rabbit, thank you very much for returning my ball. You must have returned lots of balls before because you made it look so easy. Balls sure are bouncy and rolly, but I'll try to keep under control next time. Sincerely, Otter. I can say thank you in five languages. Gracias in Spanish. Merci in French, Dankeschön in German, Arigato in Japanese, and Ankve Uye in Pig Latin. Did you say please or cheese last time? And they should know when to say, excuse me. Excuse me! if my bounce my ball and over your way again. Oh, Ms. Otter, said the bee, 
Well, excuse me, Mr. B, I need to run and check on something. I can say, can you guess? Excuse me in five languages. I may have a little more trouble with this one because some of these languages I don't speak. Dispenseme in Spanish. Pardonnez-moi, pardonnez-moi in French. Entschuldigen <laughs> in German. Sumimasen in Japanese. Excuse me in Pig Latin. Excuse me for interrupting this reading, but I heard you say please, not cheese. Otters should be honest. That means they should keep their promises. Oh, my word is as good as gold, said this one. They should not lie. I never lie. It makes my whiskers twitch. And they should not cheat. Cheating makes my whiskers itch too. I wonder if I should see a doctor. Silly otters. I'd like otters to be considerate. You know, be a good listener. Ask before borrowing something. Not littering. Being patient. Caring for all creatures big and small. Opening the door for someone. Being on time. Respecting the elderly and helping neighbors untangle their ears. It's always good to have a considerate neighbor. And it wouldn't hurt for the otters to be kind. Everyone appreciates a kind act, no matter how bad it smells. Oh look, he's willing to share his fish with Rabbit. But I'm not sure Rabbit really wants fish. Oh. And what's that word? Oh, cooperate. Otters should learn to cooperate. Did someone say operate? No, cooperate. That means to work well together. We know how to cooperate, said the otters. And I see otters like to play. I hope they know how to play fair says here, otters rules for fair play. Be a good sport, that's nice. Play by the rules, mm -hmm. take turns, include everyone, even bees. And I'd like it if we could share things like our favorite books. He's reading Harry Otter and the rabbit is reading Goldilocks and the Three Hares. Share our, let's see, favorite activities like the Otter Totter or a game of Go Fish and share our favorite treats. Now, I don't know. Rabbit has a carrot pizza and Otter has a fish. I'm not sure they like each other's food, but it would be polite to take a taste and try. I hope otters won't tease me about my doody do song or my extra large swim fins or my bad hair days. I hope otters won't tease anyone about anything because you know, teasing is mean. It's the worst. It's worse than having a clam snap shut on your nose. Ouch. I think otters should apologize when they do something wrong. I'm sorry I used your ear as a tissue. And I hope they can be forgiving when I do something wrong. I'm sorry I called you a snotter. Oh, you, laughed the otter. So there, that's how I'd like otters to treat me. You see, Mr. Rabbit, I told you it was simple. Right, just duty do unto otters as you would have otters duty do unto you. And you know, what's good for otters and rabbits is good for us too. 
Well, we're gonna get ready to do a craft and I'm gonna show you the things that you'll need for the craft so that maybe while I break to set things up, you can gather your materials. You're going to need a brown paper lunch bag. You'll need some scissors. You're gonna need something adhesive. So it might be a glue stick or it could be some scotch tape or you could use glue dots if you have those around the house. And if you don't have anything adhesive, you can always use a stapler. You're going to need a rubber band, possibly a crayon, a brown crayon, some newspaper, and then you're going to need the pattern that was attached to this uh, video and it's a sea otter template now you can print this off on regular paper at home or you can print it on something a little heavier like cardstock and if you want to not use the crayon to color if you have brown cardstock at home you can use that i think that's everything so I will be back and set up our craft and we'll make otters together. Are you all set to make your otter? I know I am. I printed off the pattern pieces for the otter using my printer from home. There's a link down below that you can use and you can print it on regular copy paper, which is a little bit lighter weight. You can print it on white cardstock, which is a little bit heavier. And if you happen to have some brown cardstock at home, you can print it on that. And then you won't even have to color it. If you are going to color it, I recommend taking an old crayon and taking the wrapper off the outside and then just running it on its side over your otter. Kind of in a circular motion. like that. So either way works fine. And as I said, if you don't have a pattern, just draw a circle for his head, put a couple ears on there, draw on a black nose, and then he's going to need four paws. Two that are about three inches long and slightly curved, and then two that are about maybe two and a half inches long that are straight. Now for mine, I'm going to be using the one that I did on the card cardstock. So what do I need to do? I need to cut it out. So I'm going to grab my scissors and start cutting. And once I have my pieces all cut out, I'm all set with the head. Two longer paws and two shorter paws. And I'm just going to push those over to the side for a minute because then I need to get my bag ready. This is going to be the body of your otter. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, which side is up. You're going to need to grab that newspaper and scrunch it up. Now, I've already got some scrunched, so what I'm going to do is put it in my bag. You, you're going to want to fill your bag about two-thirds full. And then you're going to want to squeeze it so that you've got it full of the paper and a little tail down at the bottom. And then find your rubber band and wrap it around there several times. And it's not to keep the paper inside, it's just to define it. You're going to spread out the end of your bag, take your scissors once more, and do a snip almost up to the 
rubber band, but don't cut the rubber band. Okay. And then just bend those out just a little bit. Then take whatever adhesive you're going to be using, whether it's tape or a glue stick or glue dots or even a stapler. And you're going to lay out your pieces. The two curved ones are going to be his upper paws. The two smaller ones will be his feet. And they're going to go right on the part that you just cut at the bottom. So I think for mine, since I have them here, I'm going to use the glue dots because I know that will make them stick. And you want to put those low enough that they're going to cover the end of the bag. You could probably also use Elmer's glue or a school glue. So there are his feet. Then I'm going to use a couple glue dots to put his face on. If you're not familiar with glue dots, they come in a box and then they come on a strip like this and they're little pieces of glue. I don't know if you can see it, but that are on the paper and they'll stick to anything, even your arm. So I'm just going to put a couple of those on here. And you just touch it and then pull it away. And the glue dot sticks to whatever you're trying to attach. So I'm going to stick this right here so that his... Um, stuck a little more that quickly than I wanted. I'm going to want his nose to be about at the top of the bag. And then that leaves his two paws. So you're going to want to put some adhesive just on the end of it. I'll put a glue dot on. Maybe you can see. Because your paws are going to stick out the side. Because he's going to use this when he's swimming on his back. Let me get the other one. And there I am. There he is. So there's my otter. If you wanted, you could make some long green pieces of tissue paper that could be kelp. This is a sea otter, so he lives in the ocean. Uh, we don't have sea otters around here. We might have some river otters, but sea otters live off of the coast of California, and they love to eat clams and other shellfish, shrimp. They very often will roll on their back as they're lying in the sea with whatever they've caught, whether it's a clam or some other kind of critter, on their belly, and they will play around with it before they eat it. So there's our otter, and you otter, come and get some books about otters because they're fascinating creatures. Thank you for tuning in to Monday is Fun Day, and we'll be back again with another story and another craft, another time.